It's Wednesday at 2 o'clock, which means we're going to announce who's won the pizza. Ready? The winner is Ollie Collins. 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 Woo! What's his name? Um, Ollie Collins. Shout out to Ollie Collins, who liked and subscribed to our vlog. Interested? Like, watching your vlog. The vlog was cool. Actually, they're watching your vlog right now. Interesting. So, yeah, we just got a shout out. Go and check out that episode down below. So, you uh, tidy the kitchen, get one area of the house clean, and then Rocker has a bath and just absolutely soaks everything. It's nearly one o'clock in the morning on Monday night, Tuesday night, morning, whatever you want to call it, and you know. Uh, you're, you're tired when you get bored and you start doing things like this. Trying to work and he's sending me videos like this. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go to bed? Yes, I would love to go to bed. Don't you just love the madness of uh going somewhere. What are you doing? Dancing. I've just been driving for about three hours to come and meet another investor. We're going to talk property because it was on our way to the hotel, but uh, I've just got to find his house, <laughs> uh, which is not down here. <laughs> so we've just left the house um, of the investor that we were going to meet. Um, he was so, so welcoming and we didn't stop talking for ages, so it's now gone half 12 and we've still got an hour's drive to the hotel but yeah it was really good I really enjoyed meeting him and and chatting for hours basically so yeah we're now on our way to the hotel to start tomorrow with the mentorship um yeah excited exciting exciting day so far <laughs> So they messed up our booking at the hotel we wanted to stay at. They said we were checking in tomorrow night. I definitely clicked the right night. We did the right thing. So everywhere was full uh, and we had to pick this hotel. So it's now nearly three in the morning. Um, got to get up in five hours for uh, house life. Uh, at least we've got a room and a bed. And uh, we got each other. Okay, so the footage from last night is really blurry. Alicia had it zoomed in, uh, and which meant I did, didn't notice, was tired, it's blurry, but uh, yeah. So yeah, after meeting another investor, uh, going around to his house, beautiful house, chatted for hours, we left his about half 12, hour drive to our other hotel. They messed up the booking, so about two in the morning, she was calling all the different hotels, everywhere seemed to be full. You know, that hotel was full. So we ended up here, which uh, isn't the greatest. 
absolutely shattered but buzzing for today so we're gonna go grab some breakfast uh it's about 10 to 9. we've got 25 minutes until our cab is coming uh the other hotel paid for a cab here and back so we thought yeah we'll leave the car so uh yeah Pretty much most of it's got the line plaster on now. It's difficult, can you just see at the top a little bit? You can kind of see at the top a little bit, the thickness, the thickness of it. Now being an old grade two building, there's not a single straight wall in this entire place. Um, and it takes longer to dry than regular plaster. So that's been one of the big issues. So because we were doing it over the winter as well, the line plaster was taking about six weeks to dry. So you put a decumidifier in the pieces? Yeah. <laughs> But not too high to stop no, crack, it, crack, crack it all. <laughs> one, of, one of the issues is to try and get the walls plumb, um, effectively they've been, you know, sort of scribing it with the line plaster, but it was just going on thicker and thicker and thicker. And then in the end we're like, fuck it, we're not gonna even try and get all the get all the walls completely straight. The joiner's gonna have to sort it in the kitchen. <laughs> because otherwise see that um, basically in all the rooms probably about half the coving have basically been rotten and decayed away. Um, so we've had to we've had to mould it and, and create it um, to, to, to match into the, to the existing. So that the coving has cost us 12 grand alone to do the coving in this place. Um, which is you want to say you mould it? Yeah so it's been moulded to the to the original. Really? Yeah. I, I just done a servants' quarters where they sent them into um, dressing rooms, really, for for the queen, and then the flex sergeant's room where they built extra um, storage for the head of state there, different um, flags and everything. Now with that, we're going to have to put on a, a coat below that. Yeah. With this one, it takes more expensive, but yeah, we can but put two coats. It's a one coat wonder. Yeah. Not much wrong. But you're saying it's time as well. You're going to save it later what you pay. Well, yeah, maybe not a fixed price. But when we actually put... Every green light. So, so when we had this, there were, there were double beds down here, and there were fruit machines. Um, and basically what we've done is, mm -hmm. there wasn't enough head height. So it was. We've we've taken this down about a foot actually, um, dug it out, and then we're gonna. Yeah, yeah. So it's not, not the most delightful. Uh, so we've taken it down about a foot, um, and then it's going to be about six inches worth of hardcore and concrete, and then we're basically going to build a box, um, tank it, build drainage channels, and then build a kind of a box internally. So it's like a, a an exercise room or a play room or something like that. But obviously, with anything in a you know moderately expensive area, having square footage is. You know, a good way to increase the value, and the only way you can do it around here is to go to go down. Really. Uh, my, my, my fear is I've gone back into business. So we just got back, quarter to 11, uh, went to pick up the kids, but they're in bed at Alicia's parents' house, so we thought we'll come back, go to bed ourselves, and go and get them in the morning. Had a really good day, to be fair, didn't we? 
really good day, like, yeah, the mastermind was really, really good. I literally can't wait to wake up tomorrow and get our goals down on paper, fill out a self-journal book, or whatever, self-journal journal, and uh, probably go to Costa in the morning, get that sorted, and then start executing, smashing out these goals. I will let you all know and show you all what they are tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to bed. Say good night, Alicia. Morning everyone, um, it's just gone 6.30 and I am up doing my uni work. I've got a phone call with my tutor at 10 o'clock and I need to prepare properly what I'm going to say to her because um, I'm struggling a little bit with some of the course material. Um, obviously didn't have a good night of sleep when we were in Chester because of the screw up with the um, hotels. So. I really feel tired, but I need to get on with this, so here I am doing this stuff before I take the kids to school. So, yeah, accounting for the win. Yeah. And then you find out that it's a rebate on your business rates. Yeah. But at this point, you've got credit 100 sitting in your expense account, and you now know that that should have gone to your business rate. Right, okay, so we've just finished writing out our goals. Um, yesterday, what we've done is we've got quarterly goals now, and we've got three main big goals. So um, we've written them down, and we're using the self-journal to break them down further as well. So um, obviously, we're going to meet up every month with uh, our mentors in the group, um, the mastermind group. But yeah, we've built it, we've done it, we've set it down. Now it's just time. We've planned it all out. Time to execute now. So I'm going to show you what both mine and Alicia's goals are. Pause the video if you're interested, and uh, these are going to be the basis of what the whole vlog's going to be about now. And I'm going to show you every day, every week, what I'm doing, what we're doing, what tasks we're doing to make sure that these goals become a reality. So, yeah, I'm going to show you what they are now. So, what's happened? What was we meant to be doing and what has happened? So we're supposed to be going up to London for Tally's birthday. We're going to go to the Natural History Museum, have a fun day out. And literally about half an hour from when we were about to go, Tally has burnt herself, her fingers Bam. on my straighteners. Bam. So now she's in loads of pain and there's not much point going out for the day when she's in loads of pain. So, you know, I don't know what to do. Where are we going? Where? We're going to the park. We're going to the park. Oh. <laughs> okay. You don't want to go home? You protesting? <laughs> so it took me four hours to really get to grips with uh, Arthur online. I had put down one hour for this, one hour for zero, one hour for receipts and sorting out a sort of mileage system. Well over judged it. But uh, hey, at least one job done. Wow.
So little man woke me up at half seven, which was about a half hour ago. Spent 15 minutes play fighting in bed. To then uh, wake up and share a protein shake together. Ready to smash the day. Okay, so Rocco woke me up at half past seven. Um, I got up with him, let Alicia lay in for a little bit, but uh, I was cracking on with some work and I put a film on for him and he just started watching it, like, literally sitting there still as anything. So uh, he called me over to watch it with him. So I ended up sitting and watching a film with him for an hour instead of doing work, but it's like the longest I've never seen him just move. He was just, literally just sitting there, so took the opportunity for that, but lost a bit of time. So I've only hoovered the place, haven't done the cleaning of the toilets and stuff, but I'll do that a bit later. And then we went out to a place called Java and Jazz for Talia's birthday breakfast. It's her birthday tomorrow, so we had a bit of a family little breakfast. Um, then dropped her off at a friend's because her friend's brother's christening today, so she's there. My dad is coming to pick Rocco up, who's sleeping in the car, so Alicia's brought her uni book and she's doing a bit of reading down there. I'm going to crack on with a few things, so I'm going to try and uh, email the property ombudsman. Um, uh, I need to ask him a question, and I'm probably then going to crack on with a bit of sorting out zero and trying to get used to that so yeah get a few hours work done and then uh, I might be going over to both of our properties today I'm not sure but um, yeah Of the property, it's night. I was gonna get her earlier, but have not had the chance. But everything has been plastered. Got on the stairs, this is the, one of the bedrooms, the cupboard. do a proper video tour soon but as you can see everything has been plastered 